final battle between the two shoes. Nike Pegasus 37 versus Brooks Hyperion. corner you have the Nike Pegasus 37. It's a heel drop of 10 millimeters, 10.05 ounces. Stack height at the heel is 24 millimeters, toe 14 millimeters. It has a react foam as well as it has a air bladder in the forefoot. And the other corner we have the Hyperion Tempo by Brooks. It's a 7.3 ounce shoe. Uh, heel drop is eight millimeters. Um, heel height is 28 millimeters. Toe height, 20 millimeters. And it's a DNA flash foam. These two shoes, Nike Pegasus 37 and Brooks Hyperion Tempo, went head to head on two 5Ks. One was in Mountain Home, Arkansas at the Salvation Army 5K. The other one was this past weekend um, during the Salem Apple Pie 5K. Which one won? All right, guys, just a little bit of fun on uh, uh, this battle between this shoe and this shoe. Let's talk about the Brooks Hyperion uh, Tempo shoe. I ran that with the Salvation Army 5K. Uh, it, it performed pretty well. It had a lot of response to the foam. And, uh, and so definitely, I really like this as a racing shoe. Really light. Again, really, really responsive with this shoe. Um, one thing I was a little worried about just because of the traction. If, as, you know, if I've, I've ran about 100 miles in this, so if I had to do a lot of turns, uh, it does slip a little, little bit with this shoe. Overall, overall good racing shoe uh, to have uh, with that first 5K and the 5K Salvation Army. Uh, that 5K I did in about 21 minutes and 55 seconds. Um, it was a good race. And again, the course is a little different compared to this past Saturday in the Salem, Arkansas Apple 5K. Uh, and the Salvation Army one is the three laps around a park. There's a couple little turns that you have to make and uh, that maybe slowed me down a little bit plus the heat. So there might be a factor of which uh, shoe won. Uh, again, this is a good tempo run. The, the foam is pretty hard. And so I think that gives you that good ground reaction response. And so this is a good, again, a good speed shoe. I've been using this during plyometric um, running as well as uh, doing my tempo runs. I did a 6.6 .6 mile tempo run today, and this is the shoe that I use. So I really like it for those type of shoes. And again, it doesn't have a very large um, drop, about eight millimeter drop. <clears throat> Uh, again, very very good shoe. I've enjoyed it so far for the 100 miles. I may do later on a 100 mile review on this shoe, <clears throat> um, as well as the uh, Nike Pegasus. I have about 30 or about excuse me about 60 or so miles on it, so I'm getting pretty closer close to being that 100 mile uh, mark with those shoes. Uh, let's talk about the <clears throat> the second race I did in this past Saturday, the Salem, uh, Arkansas Apple Pie. Um, 5k race now this shoe is a little heavier uh, I've been using this shoe for more uh, long runs um, yeah, and uh, things like that a little easy day just because it has a little bit more cushion to it again this one does have a 10 millimeter drop from the heel to the toe um, has been a very good shoe I've been really impressed with this shoe um, it has that that air cushion in the forefoot in there so it gives you a little bit more you can really feel that and does it's a very bouncy type of shoe so it's still responsive about 60 miles 
so far in this shoe, give or take a few a few miles, but <clears throat> it's been about 60 miles. And so again, still responsive and not a lot of wear yet so far. Uh, and again, I'm gonna do a little bit more of a review later on <clears throat> uh, once I get to, to 100 miles on this. And so with shoe one, uh, again, this this shoe, I did a personal record on a 5K on Saturday, did 20 minutes and 14 seconds uh, with that race. <clears throat> and uh, uh, again, very, very good shoe for racing. And again, this, this uh, race course was a little different they're a little bit more straight shot there's more hills actually so that did was a factor and also there's more competition so i was able to push myself a little bit more so definitely we can kind of play in a factor of which shoe might have won you know maybe i would have done just as well with the bricks hyperion tempo <clears throat> um, but uh, who knows you know maybe uh, we'll do uh, at some point do the same shoe on the same race it's kind of hard just because i only do that one <clears throat> race once a year um, but we can kind of see how performance with this so what shoe am I thinking that one oh, we're gonna go winner winner chicken dinner yes the Pegasus 37 is the winner there so again a very tight race I enjoy both shoes even though this is a little heavier shoe I think this is the one that won <clears throat> that helped helped out and definitely has a good, res very good return uh, on your your stride. <clears throat> very bouncy type of shoe, so I was able to push off pretty pretty well with that. So I've been really enjoying this shoe for, for a racing shoe. Also maybe the 10 millimeter drop, I, you know, that was able to get on my toes a little bit more and push off a little bit more <clears throat> compared to the Hyperion uh, Tempos uh, with a little bit less of a drop there. So that concludes this fun <clears throat> um, final battle of the two shoes the um, Bricks Hyperion Tempo as well as the Nike Pegasus 37 and again we're going to give the winning ticket to the Pegasus 37 all right if you haven't subscribed to this channel hit subscribe <clears throat> ding that bell and look for more reviews we're going to do at least a hundred mile review on this shoe and probably per se do a hundred mile review on this shoe since i have probably over 100 miles on this shoe <clears throat> so everyone keep safe keep running and we'll see you next time